focus. Ideate. Innovate. Enable. Most people spend a huge portion of their lives at work. So naturally, it is imperative that companies have a good and healthy environment to work in. The effects of the work environment on all aspects of a person's well-being is further reaching than most realize. This week, we get to know about the work environment at one of India's leading cement manufacturers, Ambuja Cement, along with the work culture at one of the major players in the high-value global business services space, Concentrix, and at the largest telecom tower company in the nation, Indus Towers. Ambuja Cements Limited is a part of a global conglomerate Lafarge Holcim which is one of India's leading cement manufacturers and has completed over 25 years of operations. Founded in 1983, Ambuja Cement set up its first cement manufacturing plant at Ambuja Nagar in Gujarat. In a short period of time, the company grew by leaps and bounds. With its innovative and dynamic approach, it has emerged as a benchmark for the cement industry in India. This spirit makes Ambuja Cement a product that embodies giant strength. Ambuja is a very uh, unique uh, work culture. Uh, we describe it just with two words, which is I can. And uh, when we have to really expand it, it basically means give a man uh, orders reasonably, he will do it well. However, if you allow him empowerment and let him allow to do his own tasks, it becomes his personal mission. We call it I can. We are a young company, fairly, uh, we born in 1986. I'm just talking of uh, 27 years old company. We were born with just one small plant of 0.7 million tons in Gujarat. Uh, today, we have 30 million tons of capacity and we have 17 plants uh, and two more plants uh, where we have a JVs. All this was possible because uh, we were so busy uh, building our business but building it with the right value systems. Today, we have a very unique global culture, global practices, uh, the very high compliance standards which uh, Lafaj Holcim brings, on, brings to us. At the same time, we have a very strong homegrown culture of entrepreneurship, the ICANN. And I think it's a truly local, uh, you know, uh, subculture which we are trying to build here in Ambuja. In any company, the work culture co consists of the the hard uh, factors as well as the soft factors. So the hard factors consist of the way, uh, the kind of policies you have, the kind of processes and systems you have dealing with employees and the way you do go about doing your work uh, day to day. So these are some things which uh, we have evolved over a period of time, the practices and we have tried to do in tune with the uh, best practices around us and also customizing that to our business requirements. Here the underlying principles or the values that uh, we nurture is that we want each employee to be able to contribute his best or rather reach his own potential. As a manufacturing organization, the core strength of the company is its people. And Ambuja Cement constantly keeps them inspired by creating value for them and their families. Employee engagement and recreation activities are conducted on a regular basis to add fun to work. Ambuja Cement's health and safety initiatives have instilled an attitude that is a way of life today. Ambuja Cement is focused in providing a zero-harm workplace to its employees. When we look at our plants, we provide the best of the schools for the children of our employees. Uh, we recently uh, built our first multi-speciality hospital at our founding plant in Ambuja Nagar. It's a 60-bed hospital. We have uh, best of uh, colonies, uh, best of the clubs, but most important, we have uh, the best of the factories where people come and work. Uh, we have taken a big uh, initiative called WeCare, where we believe uh, our 12,000 odd uh, workers, uh, direct and indirect, uh, they need to come and have uh, uh, a very safe work conditions. Uh, and health and safety gets the top priority. We are a uh, cement company, but it also has 10 ships. We have our own port, uh, one mother port and four jetties. And we have more than 250 people working in our shipping business. If, as a youngster, if I read all this, it tells me that, look, this is a great company to be in. Uh, we invest a lot of money on training. Uh, I think uh, in the space where we are, we would perhaps be at par with some of the best companies uh, on training. Uh, most of our top management have to necessarily go through senior leadership programs, whether at IMD in uh, Geneva or at INSEAD. And whenever anybody assumes a leadership program, we also send them in the top four or five B schools. And uh, I think this is a good pipeline we are trying to build. We have a very strong global culture of building a succession pipeline. And most of us in the top management have been not 
recruited from outside. We are all homegrown talent who have been, uh, you know, nurtured over the years. So I think that's a good way to look at, uh, and I think above all, a number which everybody counts is the employee turnover. So we are very much, uh, you know, lower than the industry benchmark, and uh, people who come here often give their life. We practice something called Ambuja Parivar, and we believe that uh, the Parivar is beyond the employees, but it covers also their families who stay in uh, Ambuja townships at the plants and elsewhere. So uh, this was a talent show which uh, covered all of this uh, Ambuja Parivar. That uh, program was uh, an evening of ecstasy for our employees. We connected, uh, although the program was in Bombay, but we connected all of our locations. So people at our locations with their families, they enjoyed the program. So one of the things uh, what we have is uh, policies which are for women. So uh, very few companies could be having this and we recognize that some of our women employees, at least the married women employees, have a uh, commitment towards their in-laws also. So recognizing that we allow the women employees to cover their in-laws in the medical scheme. We tied up with a chain of gyms and we said, okay, uh, we sponsor our employees to join these gyms wherever they live or closer to the office. Umang is an initiative to provide a structured process to enhance engagement levels in the company. It helped bring interventions aimed at improving the workplace and the results have been remarkable. So the individual's thoughts, individual's uh, say is given the importance in this company. Uh, we are very much concerned about safety, like safety is the first priority for us. Individual worker has a feeling of ownership that I own this company. I work for myself, not for the company. Sustainable Talent for Enhanced Performance or STEP is a program to develop a sustained pool of leaders by equipping them with essential leadership skills and competencies and to groom them to be internal coaches. From last 14 years, what I feel is that so whatever requirement an uh, uh, individual feels uh, as far as growth point of view or the family relation point of view, it is uh, uh, fulfilled by the company. Right from your safety, security aspects, uh, your growth, if the company is loyal to you, definitely the employee is going to be loyal with him. Ambuja Cements is one of the most preferred organizations in the cement industry that provides immense opportunities to young emerging talent, making it one of the most aspirational places to work. A wholly owned subsidiary of Synex Corporation, Concentrix is a leader in high-value global business services. It partners with its clients to deliver end-to-end -end customer engagement services, technology innovations, analytics, process optimization and business improvements. India is the largest base for Concentrix with operations in nine cities like NCR, Chandigarh, Kolkata, Chennai, Hyderabad, Vizag, Mumbai, Pune and Bengaluru. Our vision is to become the greatest customer engagement services company in the world. And that kind of drives everything that we, that, that we do. Uh, and then to reinforce that, we have very clearly articulated uh, nine culture statements. The other thing that drives us is the three operating principles. We also call it uh, the three V's of Concentrix. That's visibility, velocity, and value. Visibility allows us to look at and identify uh, challenges and roadblocks across the organization with a great speed so that we can go and fix it. Um, velocity means uh, responding to the customer needs, uh, uh, needs of our employees with great speed and making sure that you get things done. Third is value, value to our shareholders, to our customers, to community and to our employees uh, most importantly. What it means is that everything we do has to create value. More than 2,000 vertical and horizontal movements have happened in just 2015 alone. Um, this really excites our people and they feel motivated. They want to come to work every single day uh, and contribute because they know that in turn, uh, organization is, giving, is going to give them opportunity to grow. We invest significantly in learning and development as well as we believe in providing growth opportunities to our employees. 
almost 75 percent of our leadership positions are promoted from within the organization about 25 percent we hire from outside with a clear view that there needs to be a differential view coming into the organization so we have very segmented learning programs which we run for the first level uh, first line managers for the people the individual contributors as well as for people in the leadership positions and we go through some of the leading names in the learning in the industry to actually conduct those uh, training programs and learning programs the global business services firm transforms the customer experience and streamlines front and back office and industry specific processes to provide the highest value from every customer interaction Based in 25 countries with a staff of more than 70,000 who speak over 40 languages, Concentrix offers industry expertise in 10 industries, banking and financial services, healthcare and pharmaceutical, insurance, technology, consumer electronics, retail and e-commerce, government and public sector, media and communications, automotive and travel, transportation and tourism. We are fanatical about our staff. What it means is that we put our employees at the center of everything. And you know everything that we do in, in our day-to-day -day operations is to ensure that we facilitate, we equip, we make it easy for them. And if you really look at our culture, it is of entrepreneurial in nature. It is allowing people to make the decisions. It is, it is allowing people to take risks. We also take risks in people and we actually give them opportunities sometime even before they are ready and then help them as best as we can. If you look at our offices, um, they're very colorful, they're very bright, they're, they're really beautiful the way we built our offices. Uh, so we provide them really the world-class infrastructure, we provide them recreational facilities, we provide them sports facilities. There's tremendous amount of investment and time that we, and energy we put in to engage with them through town halls, through R&Rs, through various events. Our effort to reach out to each one of them and, you know, they also have multiple forums to reach out to us and give feedback. Every single feedback that comes to us, you know, that is looked at, I personally or my leadership team responds to every feedback, every grievance. We do a lot of uh, reward and recognition programs. We do a lot of celebrations. First and foremost was in terms of engaging the employees at the workplace, creating a workplace where people can actually, people actually look forward to come to work rather than a nine to five job kind of an environment. That's part one. Part two is, we also looked at in the in sense of uh, having the communication entirely through mobile and gamification and that's something which we are working on at this point in time by end of 2016 we should be having a very strong robust technology platform to reach out to the employees and also to um, uh, improve the employee engagement practices and in the case of millennials what we try to do is to give opportunity for them to express their creativity in terms of whatever they want to do from an office perspective. Just to give an example, we have rock bands of ours, we have competitions of ours, we just let them lose and have their energy levels coming out. Concentrix's vision is to be the greatest customer engagement services company in the world while being rich in diversity and talent. The value proposition of Concentrix revolves around customer centricity. The company thrives on the values of integrity and exemplary character. We have a very high performing environment where leadership lets you do what you want to do and you know leadership believes in you. I think for me it has been the driving force. Concentrix values knowledge, openness and transparency in all the functions across the company. My disability has never come in as a barrier. I've always been seen as an able body here. I've got an opportunity to lead a team of facilitators. Imagine how difficult and how crucial is it as uh, you know, a role to find learning and development opportunities for senior leaders. That's the role that I get to handle. And that's the role that I've earned here only because of the open mindset, the open culture that I've found here and the trust that I've earned here in the leadership team. Concentrix Kolkata has won the STPI Export Award 2015 for highest percentage of differently abled employees in IT, ITES sector. Concentrix has also won the Golden Peacock HR Excellence Award in 2014. Uh, we have an amazing team of people that are absolutely committed and uh, you know that is the key thing that makes me come to work every day.
telecommunication is an integral part of a country's socio-economic growth. It is one of the main architects of accelerated progress of different segments of the economy. Indus Towers, India's largest telecom tower company, is enabling a communication revolution in a significant new phase. Work culture at Indus is based on three key strengths which we believe in. First one being our customers, second our partners and third our motivated and empowered employees. Now our employees and our partners come together to deliver to our, our customers day in and day out. What we end up doing every day is to serve almost 1 billion people of this country. Uh, and in all this, we actually take pride every day when we come to uh, office. Now, uh, how do we end up doing this? Uh, at the core of our delivery machinery and our, our culture is uh, the values. Uh, let me take a step back on, on these values. Uh, values are the ones was the first thing which we created or co-created with our employees. Day in and day out, we actually preach and practice these, these values uh, uh, to our employees and to ourselves uh, as well. The values which are excellence, customer, teamwork, integrity and environment forms our guiding principle and the very fabric of this uh, company. When you look at the work culture at the Indus Towers, you have to basically see two important facets of the culture. That is the purpose for which we come to Indus Towers to work. And then comes the way we live in Indus Towers. Both are extremely important. When it comes to the purpose, Indus Towers serves 600 million people multiple times every day. I personally believe probably Indus is the only company we serve 600 million people multiple times every day. So our purpose comes from the fact that we are putting India first because for us that matters a lot. And every time somebody receives a mobile call or speaks, you know, there's a lot involved either economics or emotional relationships and the personal relationships. So when you look at it from that perspective, Putting, your, putting India first and transforming the lives of the people in our great country comes the important purpose for us. In this Towers corporate social responsibility policy is intended to ensure that its CSR programs reflect its vision and values. Indus Towers aspires to undertake CSR programs that can transform the lives of communities and foster a culture of mutual respect and trust. In order for its CSR programs to be transformational, Indus Towers plans to co-create solutions to address societal needs by actively collaborating with communities, NGOs, foundations, customers and partners. First thing which is very unique about uh, Indus is its model itself. We have three very large competing companies coming together and uh, uh, being on the board, they are the ones who actually form this, this company as well, which is the first unique thing. Second, of course, is, is its scale. Uh, I don't think there is any other company existing or a tower company in, in, in the world which has a scale equivalent to uh, Indus, which makes us the largest telecom tower company. The next one is its uh, our geographical spread. We almost directly or indirectly employ almost 30,000 people and what we really take pride in is we employ these youth who are part of the rural culture and they get employment where they live. While we give them employment, we spend disproportionate focus on skill development of those youth and they are employed in closer to their homes as well. Uh, and we are doing their skill development through CPCM and uh, such programs as well. Another thing which actually brings pride to this Indus uh, uh, culture and Indus people is uh, uh, the kind of CSR activities which we are into. The fact that uh, Indus is a highly people oriented organization and this is evident from the fact that we have got multiple awards and we are the youngest organization uh, to have been recognized as uh, uh, global Great Workplace Award globally multiple times, you know, in fact in 2014 and 2015 and also Great Place to Work Award in 2015 with second best in telecom industry. So all these fit, uh, things put together 
make a great offering. Organizational success is largely a function of employee engagement. So we do a lot of interventions around en engaging the employees with the organization. And they are, uh, in fact, of, uh, data shows that our engagement levels have consistently gone up from 37th percentile in 2011 to uh, 76th percentile today. And that has happened because of the fact that we do large number of interventions around engaging employees. Uh, when we receive the survey uh, uh, results, it starts with action planning at various levels, enterprise level, circle level, function level, manager level. And every manager is supposed to be accountable for his uh, action plan and then implementing those plans to ensure the engagement levels go up. Indus Towers was incorporated with an objective to provide shared telecom infrastructure to telecom operators on a non-discriminatory basis. Indus' commitment to innovation enhances operational efficiencies and results in substantial cost savings for its customers. The vision of transforming lives by enabling communication is a source of inspiration for its employees.